Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, whoop, send in my love. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the Litty Gang. Litty Committee, like what? Woo! Honestly, like it's been hectic. The whole of this week has been crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm currently here eating a bowl of noodles because I haven't eaten for the whole day. And you know, where do I start? So being 27 and living at home, the pressure is getting worse. I swear, oh my God. Anyways, but before I get into this video, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. Where do I start? Being 27 and living at home. So the other day, right, I was on the phone to my good, good friend. And we were like, can you just like, can you imagine our parents being 27 and living at home? That just sounds so crazy because when our parents were 27, they would have moved out, like doing their own shit, you know what I mean? But like, me, I'm 27, I live at home, and I'm like, whoa, like, shit is crazy, like, when I look back, I'm thinking, wow, like, my mum and my mum's generation kind of thing all moved out early in their, in their life, and then I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm 27, and I'm still living at home, like, shit. But you know what, there was a time when I was living away from home and that was for like uni. And I was like, whoa, like that's crazy. Like being 27 and living at home, blood. I said to my friend the other day, I can't be 30 and living at home. Like it doesn't sit in my head properly. I'm like, uh, 30 and living at home, mm, it just kind of puts a little thing like my life is not together. At 30, I'm like, no, 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 no. I said to my friend, listen, if April the 19th comes around and that's my 30th birthday and I call you and I say, oh, guess what? I'm still living at home. <laughs> she literally laughed at me and I was just like, I, I can't be that person. Because like if a lot of you know, I don't want to be in this country. Like, if I had my own way, I would pack up and leave. Like, oh my God, like, mm mm, mm, mm. Cause like, even like I was telling a work colleague the other day and they were like to me, look how much things you're doing. Why are you here? I'm like, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Like, it's cr absolutely crazy. Like when you see like people who's what, 21, 22, 23, and they live, away from home i'm like whoa whoa like wow you know it's absolutely crazy and yeah <laughs> i'm home for now that's all i would say i'm home for now but anyways whoo being 27 and at home whew, like i'm telling you if you're if your brain if your head if your whole head you see your whole head <laughs> shape is not screwed onto your neck you will lose the plot like if you're a person like me you will lose the plot to live i swear like i have to just pray and say thank you lord for the friends i have on this on this earth because oh jesus and you know why I, I'm making this video? Because a couple of weeks ago, or it could have been that like last week, I was coming home from work and I saw like this homeless girl. She was no, she was no older than 24. And I was like, shit. Like the girl was begging, the girl was like, she looked proper down and out. And I was like, oh, you know, that's, that is mad. Like her mental health was gone out the window. And I was just like, mental health is real. Like when you see people as young as 20 or even younger or even a bit, you know, 22, 23, you think, whoa, your mental health shouldn't be like that. But then again, mental health awareness is not broad in 
in cultures or in certain races you know what i mean it's not it's not learned about because like when people think oh mental health they're thinking oh here we go again like, here we go again here we go again just go and get a job whatever you'll be fine and it's really a lot deeper that's like me i, I, I just i just smile and i just keep going i just <laughs> you know like even in certain situations where you just have to be like i'm not giving my energy to negative people or negative vibes i'm like no like no and it's hard when you're living amongst other people because it's like if their mood is not all you know 100 percent, then it's gonna rub off onto you and then you're gonna be like oh shit well that's why me i just i just don't mix like i have my people who i talk to like i've got very good friends and you know if you're on my snapchat you will know like i don't put my mind in any type of oh duh, 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 bad vibes like no if you know me from the get-go on this channel you will know i'm all good vibes i'm positive vibes like one thing i hate somebody trying to copy how i am because i'm just like I'm, I'm a person you know what i mean like i am who i am at the end of the day like i i don't like looking at somebody who's trying to be me <laughs> i find that so disturbing i'm just like shit let me just be please but um yeah honestly 27 and living at home comment down below if you're 27 and living at home or if you're a bit older and living at home comment down below let me know like how you are how you how you're finding it um and if you're younger than that and you're living at home also tell me but i do know a lot of my subscribers are my age a bit younger and they're living away from home so let me know just tell me how tell me your experiences because i want to know you know i'm trying to be there too <laughs> but you know like i said to my friend like when you're 30 right i'm gonna be like <coughs> i'm 29 <laughs> i'm 29 <laughs> she was like i'm not even gonna answer the phone i'm gonna block you for the whole year i'm like shit don't worry i will call your friends and be like yo um can you just remind that she's 30 and i'm still 29 like <laughs> you know like honestly life be life being like when i think oh my god like people actually live by themselves at a young age and i'm like whoa but hey her you know i just wanted to just bring this to the table because i was like shit like 27 and living at home that is a record <laughs> that that is like honestly but uh, like i've always said you know 30 have to be outside like you know because it's either certain things like if you're doing i don't know if you're doing the same routine every morning you're gonna get bored like I don't mean I get bored of my same routine every single week, every day, Monday to Friday. I'm just like, damn, like I need to do something else. Like, give me something to do, like before I go to work. But um, yeah, 27 and living at home. Wow, wow. You know, I'm I'm kind of ready for the next chapter which is like the 30s because i want to see what that's got in 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 action for me because listen my 30s cannot be as boring as my 20s like my 20s wasn't that boring but i would have liked to have done more in my 20s but don't worry don't worry because we've got a whole next era the dirty 30s i'm very excited for very very excited for um yeah comment down below your ages let me know if you're my age and when your birthday is because i'm just excited like period like what the hell oh side note guys quick little story time quick little story time you know how i be with my story times so like two weeks ago i nearly left my job yeah if you follow me on snapchat you would have seen the whole commotion like honestly when I tell you, I don't 
tolerate racism. I, when I face racism, I'm just like, ah, damn. Like, I don't want to be in that situation because I know how my mouth stays and I know if I stay in that situation and it happens again, I'm going to tell you about your dirty ass. You understand me? But anyways, so I took it and I was just like, damn, damn. And if you don't know, I'm on the road to October, so I need this job. I do need this job like not to say that YouTube doesn't pay me or anything but you know like this job helps as well <laughs> but honestly like racism it shouldn't be a thing where it's still happening in this day and age but it does and when it happens it's like damn like being a black person you cannot you can't say anything in a workplace without it coming across as being Oh, you're so aggressive. Oh, you're so da 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 da. You're so rude. You're da -da -da. So me, I just said, you know what? You said what you said. You knew what you said was wrong. That's why you tried to sugarcoat it. And on the following day, I went back into work. The woman said to me, "I thought I scared you off." I looked at her and I was just like, like, because when something happens to me and you've rattled my cage. Do not expect me to then come back to you and smile and grin up in your face. That is not going to happen. Do you understand? So me, I gave her a cold shoulder for three, four days. And it's just recently I've just like started to, you know, rock with her again. But I'm like, you know what? If that happens one more time, I will tell you about yourself. And I will leave because nobody should feel a type of way of going to work and feeling racist amongst or anything like that so yeah and oh guys so much has happened i'm telling you so much has happened like last night yesterday i was just in shock right all i'm gonna say is make sure you check up on your loved ones oh, check because yesterday i was like went on instagram and i was like you know last night i couldn't even sleep but i tell you i moved around 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 and i was like whoa what i saw really happened like is that really true is that really like what's going on then this morning i was just like still a bit confused i was just like oh my god you know so make sure you check up on the people who you care for because tomorrow is not promised <laughs> and i can tell you that Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and feel free to go and watch my previous videos because as you know, I'll be dropping them. What? Bye guys!